From the Gypsy King shocking fans by revealing the front runner for his next big fight to him looking around for stadiums to set up his next big fight in Australia. Let's check out if the Tyson Fury vs. Jai Opataya fight is confirmed. Fury's definitely in talks to find a cruiserweight world champion, but it's not Oleksandr Usyk or even Anthony Joshua. Instead, it's the little-known Aussie Jai Opataya, and it seems like they're locked in negotiations for a fight over the summer of 2023. In fact, according to Jai's manager, Mick Francis, a deal with Fury is all but sealed. I mean, that's a lot of confidence, but I'm not talking about any random boxer here. The 27-year-old Australian is a 6'2 boxer who won his cruiserweight world title by beating Maris Breedis back in July 2022. And now, it seems like he's gearing up to move to the heavyweight division. That said, the Gypsy King has played down the clash with Opataya saying there's a huge difference in their size, and the divisions speak for themselves. Cruiserweights and heavyweights aren't on the same level, and this fight might just be the one to prove it. Having said that, if you really think about it, a fight between Fury and Opataya is going to be epic because neither one of them is going to get knocked out, and it's going to be a fight that'll go the distance. An absolute war, if you will. To top it off, Jai's got nothing to prove in the cruiserweight division, and as Francis said, he'd take a fight against Fury in a heartbeat. Right now, he's sparring heavyweights every single day because cruiserweights simply don't cut it out for him anymore. And let's not forget, we're talking about the same boxer who overcame a broken jaw to win the IBF Cruiserweight World title in 2022, so maybe he won't have any problem moving up in the weight division. And if he manages to get through, he'll get into the ring at about 98 kilos. Sure, he might look like a small guy, but don't underestimate him for a small heavyweight. There's a reason why Francis is backing him up, to put Australian boxing on the map with one of the biggest promotions. But unless something comes indirectly from the Gypsy King himself, fans are going to be skeptical about it. But if Fury's already looking into a fight in Australia, he couldn't wish for a better fight than one with Jai. Especially when it comes to the money aspect of it all, because let's be real, that's Fury's entire focus right now anyway. The only issue though is Fury's track record of listing opponents without actually sealing the deal. You know it. We've all heard him talk about a bunch of fights he wants to do in all kinds of places, but they never materialize. And UK fans are sure his next fight is going to be back home as well, even though he admitted he's looking into Australia for his next big fight. Plus, if I'm being honest, Jai isn't really the opponent anyone would expect against the Gypsy King, especially after a potential showdown with Usyk. But I could say the same about Derek Chisora or Dillian White. All in all, Fury's pretty unpredictable when it comes to setting up potential fights, especially when it boils down to negotiations over purse splits and venues. On top of that, considering whatever happened in the past when fighters tried to negotiate with Fury, I'm not going to keep my hopes up this time. And rumor has it, Fury seems interested in a clash with one of Joshua's sparring partners, Dempsey McKean. Even the Gypsy King admitted that McKean was going to be his next opponent. To top it off, he sees the Southpaw's style as the perfect way to prepare for a potential clash with Usyk. Think about it. McKean's a top 10 heavyweight and definitely one of the frontrunners. Meanwhile, Usyk's Southpaw too, so a fight with McKean right before the undisputed world champion showdown might be the perfect way to go about this. So, when the unbeaten champion stepped into Australia to support his close friend and former WBO heavyweight champion, Joseph Parker, he knew he was ready for a big fight himself. Now, the Gypsy King hasn't stepped into the ring since retaining his WBC title with a decisive stoppage over his British rival, Derek Chisora. And this was back in December 2022, and ever since then, he's got nothing else lined up. Although, along with Jai and Dempsey, there's another potential opponent on the list, and that's Jiang Jile. The boxer already defeated Joe Joyce with a sixth round stoppage in London in April 2023, taking his WBO interim title. And now he's got to face the sanctioning body's full champion, Usyk. Meanwhile, Joyce reactivated his rematch clause and is ready to fight the Gypsy King. The only question is, which one of these fighters will end up in the ring with Fury? For now, it's either Dempsey, Jai, or even Joshua. Yes, Joshua's definitely a surprising twist here. I mean, let's not forget how negotiations between the two fell apart in 2022 with Fury giving ultimatums to Joshua's legal team, one after another. If you're a man, and if you've got any sort of dignity and pride about you, you'll get this contract signed today. Only to take his offer off the table. A year later, after an easy win to Joshua's name, Fury's ready to fight the Brit at Wembley Stadium in September. And I gotta be honest, it's a fight everyone wants to see. And it seems like Fury already sent in a draft contract to his British heavyweight rival. To top it off, this time he's going to make a million videos and keep the pressure at an all-time high. And that's exactly what fans want, because the heavyweight duo has been linked to a showdown multiple times now. But here's the twist. Joshua's promoter, 
Eddie Hearn confirmed that he got no contract and there's been nothing more than a discussion. First things first, we have been sent no contract. No contract has been sent. So, Although they're not closing the door on a Tyson Fury fight, Eddie wants this to go as smoothly as possible, given how fragile Joshua's career is right now. At the same time, a win over the Gypsy King might be the one thing he needs to get back in the game and redeem himself. But while fans are desperate for a fight between the two, Fury's got his eyes set on a fight in Australia first, before anything else. I mean, negotiations are already underway with McKean and Fury's teams and the Queensland state government. You can probably expect to see them in the ring at the Suncorp Stadium in August 2023. Although, I gotta say, McKean is a surprising option for Fury. The Australian has been unbeatable for 22 fights, and to top it off, he's also a former Anthony Joshua sparring partner. But here's the thing. He hasn't really competed against world-class opposition yet, so he needs to figure that out before he can rise to the ranks and cement his legacy. And Fury is easily the leading heavyweight in the sport right now, so McKean's team wants to create history and hopefully win the heavyweight title in Australia. But let me tell you, this isn't the first time he's been linked to big-name opponents. In fact, right at the start of 2023, he was pushing for a big fight with Joshua. I'm the only name that's kind of been thrown around in the mix at the moment for a potential uh, opponent for Joshua. So. While the Brit was on the verge of retirement after two back-to-back -back defeats from Usyk, making a comeback to redeem himself in the sport. But at the time, Joshua needed an easy win. So if he passed on the chance to fight McKean, I don't blame him. But the takeaway is that, despite being an unbeatable boxer on the brink of some huge fights, and I'm even talking about Dillian White, he never made it into the ring with any one of them. And now, when he's trying to secure a deal with Fury, McKean's southpaw stance is a huge sticking point for the Gypsy King. All I can say about it is that Fury's taking the idea of fighting in Australia very seriously. He's even looking around for potential stadiums, and I'm even talking about the 52,500-seater Suncorp Stadium, the same one where Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn clashed back in 2017. I mean, if you ask me, Fury's looking for the biggest money-making fight right now. So if it's a $20 million blockbuster fight against Opataya, so be it. But while Francis has practically sealed the deal in front of the media, Fury hasn't really put a stamp on his next opponent either, even though he was spotted enjoying the sights in Brisbane, right next to Parker and Opataya recently. And if you ask me, it's not surprising at all. All I can say for sure is that he's definitely on the verge of securing an unexpected matchup this year, especially after how negotiations with Usyk fell apart right at the start of 2023. So there you have it, from Tyson Fury looking around for stadiums to set up his next big fight in Australia, to him shocking fans by revealing the frontrunner for his next big fight. That was all on if the Tyson Fury versus Jai Opataya fight.